What's up guys, Utopian Wanderer here and here we are. The third episode of Rayo Osama Story is finally out. A story that began a year ago and is finally coming to an end just in time with 2020's Rio Carnaval. But first, let's do a quick recap. Over the first episode, we went through the Passista life and the Carnaval life thanks to Nubia and Sasha. In the second episode, we got inside the Madureira, the suburb of Imperio Serrano, where we participated into a street rehearsal before jumping into the summer drama for the technical rehearsal, along with Paraiso do Tuyuchi. That was an amazing experience, but the best part was to get first hand account from multiple people across the schools of what it means to them to participate in to that carnaval. That it's not just a hobby, this is a passion with capital P. But now we're onto the big stage and we're only minutes away from entering the biggest avenue in the world. Welcome to Rio a Samba Story Part 3. Welcome to Carnaval. What am I looking at right now is incredible. I have I have no fuck I have no words. This is This is beyond awesome. This is way beyond awesome. Wow. Just so many colors, so many different costumes, so many different everything. Sorry, I'm also looking for my friend at the same time, so almost there. Seriously, I enjoy. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can see, but just behind me, there's one of the uh, one of the girls that goes into that float that came in a little bit late. So right now she's getting ready and then hopping on the float. And one of those issues has to do with the pants. All support members of the school have to have white pants and if possible white shoes so that it can look good on TV and during the parade. Unfortunately, a lot of people did not have the required items. But thankfully, the school had everything ready and they got at least the white pants on site for everyone to wear them. As for the shoes, ah uh, well. You think everything's perfect, but you gotta, you gotta hand it to them. They make it look perfect. And in the end, that's what really matters. There's a lot of last minute touches that happening every single moment up until up until the start. And even as soon as the thing starts rolling, I'm pretty sure people are still going to be like resolving some issues here and there. This is this is always a work in progress in a way, but it's a damn beautiful one at it. Woo. And a few blocks away, the battery is getting ready. Boss Gilmar, the leader of the battery, the chef of the battery, is giving a rousing speech to, uh, to his troops, literally troops. Look at, look at all the... You seen the outfit? This is a proper troop outfit. So those guys are going to be kicking ass when they get, uh, when they get to the uh, summer dome. Sounds like it. Next thing you know, that's exactly what happened. I thought that'd be it. Alright, just a quick one. I'm in! I'm in! I'm in! And the next 75 minutes were just a whirlwind of emotions, incredible happenings and still Still to this day, I cannot believe that I was right in the middle of the parade, right in the middle of the 
Carnival of Rio. That that's, still blows my mind to this day. And, well, you know what? I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of the footage. <laughs> And rare or not, everybody's giving their 100% on that avenue. But there's no denying that the rain turns the event that much more special. As for the judges, to them, it makes no difference at all. And as expected, the parade wasn't without issues. One of the muses had to dance the whole avenue without her shoes. But did that stop the school from putting on an amazing show? Absolutely not. I had the biggest blast anyone can ever have at a carnival. And these memories will remain with me forever. Especially the Bayanas, so lively and lovely in their giant round dresses. And before we knew it, the end of the parade was near. So I'll just let you enjoy the last few minutes of joy. As the Bateria finishes crossing the line in front of the TV Globo studios, I barely have time to take in the moment that we need to head out to the next parade, Salgueros. It's incredible, it's over, but it's not over. This is amazing, all right, up to the next one, here we go. All right, here we are again, it's the same day. I changed t-shirts though. This time we are with the Salgueros who is about to perform very very soon like there's one school right now performing on the avenue and those guys are going to be up just after it's uh it's pretty much just bang 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 one out one in one out one in i'm pretty sure if i start getting into details here and there i'll see the same thing scenes sorry same scenes happening again because that's the nature of carnival it's beautiful it looks perfect but there's a lot of work that goes beyond that Behind that, beyond that. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even know how to speak English anymore. Like, there's just too many emotions going in right now. I'll be honest. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the floats. They look very inspired. Very. I. Mean, I haven't read too much on the story, but the story that they're gonna go with Miredo is about Shango, Olori Shango, um, who, from what I gathered, is a former tribe warrior. Which tribe? Which. What is his story and so on? I'll be honest, I don't know. I started reading into it, but uh, there's, a, there's a lot of story there behind that. And I tried to read the lyrics as well, and I couldn't understand half of the words because they were, they were in a dialect that is not Portuguese. Very tribal looking, a lot of axes, a lot of... Uh... Check it out. That looks beautiful. 
It looks beautiful, and most of the costumes have, uh, have that kind of inspiration, so it should be interesting with Academic Uji Salgado. One thing that got me thinking deeply about Rio, though, is there's such a contrast between what's happening here during the parade in the Samba Dromo against what's happening out in the street where you have blocos happening all over the place spontaneously I know I'm supposed to have an objective assessment about things but I'm also a person I gotta stop looking out of the camera I'm also a person that I got my own opinions I really have that impression that those parades while they cost they might cost a lot of money but I can see the culture behind it. I can see the love for the culture, the love for the community, the love for the samba, the love for everything that makes Carnaval. On the other hand, which block? I'll be honest, I don't feel that kind of love. What I see is, on the streets, what I see is a lot of people just looking for music and then getting drunk, or dare I say pissed drunk, is sexually disinhibited or whatever the word is basically it's all about I don't want to say like sex, drug and rock and roll but it's not rock and roll a lot of Brazilians do that a lot of Brazilians do that a lot of tourists as well tend to go for that and I'm, and I'm here wondering is this really the culture? is this really the carnival culture? to me the culture can connect with more easily is this kind of our culture? Is this is what I'm witnessing right now? Or what I've been witnessing for the past couple of weeks? The blockers? It seems fun at first. And it was sort of fun at first. But I grew tired of it pretty quickly. Maybe I am old fashioned. But it's just not my thing. And here's the thing. Blockers are gonna keep existing. Carnival is gonna keep existing as well. So guess what all tastes? No, nothing is wrong, nothing is right. It just... Do what you gotta do, how you wanna do it, with respect for each other, at the very least, please. And that's it. All right, enough with my rant, okay? I think, I think they're finally gonna start. I think. doesn't look like it's gonna end anytime soon so I'm just gonna jump in my face is like super close but these fireworks that's pretty much how they announced which school is gonna be performing next so right now you can see the fireworks are red just like Academic Cujo Salgueiro and that was it just like in Perio Serrano a few hours earlier, it was time for the Academicos do Salgueiro to line up before entering the avenida but not without any issues. <laughs> that was a close call. Thankfully the rest went ahead normally, the expectation rising and rising among the school members, gulping one last sip of water before the big show, and then... So yeah, this is the after. It's not as glamorous as the during, or even the before. It's part of the whole thing, right? The reason why I'm here and everyone's coming out is they didn't let me in. They didn't let me in like, uh, like for Imperio. Because my shirt's green and those guys are red. But tomorrow, tomorrow there's more. Tomorrow there's last one in Perio to Yuti. So it should be good, eh? Alright, I'm just gonna meet my friends because I have the products with me.